Thumper was a little rabbit in the cartoon Bambi. I saw that cartoon way back in the 1960s when I was probably first or second grade. And I still remember Thumper the little rabbit in the cartoon saying, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. And since then I came to call that the Thumper rule. Just stuck with me. It works for me. You can call it whatever rule that you would like. Incidentally, as a little aside, if you think media doesn't influence kids, it does for better or worse. And there's something I remember from a long time ago. It made an impression. And it was just a cartoon. Media. Another lesson, but don't, don't dismiss it too easily. So, why do we want to practice the thumper rule? Why do we want to be sure if we're not saying something nice, we don't say anything at all? Because, number one, it's the golden rule. Do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. And so, you know, let's be honest. How many of us really want other people talking bad about us or judging us behind our back or talking about us around the coffee table, you know, in the break room, complaining and moaning and griping about how mean and vicious we are or whatever the complaint is? Now, on the flip side, we don't mind if they're saying good stuff about us, of course. And that's not a bad practice. If you can't say something nice, don't say anything. Find something good to say. Nobody's 100% evil. I'll agree with some people. You'll have to dig a little deeper to find that good thing to say. But you can find something to say. Do they have polished shoes? Do they dress nice? Do they comb their hair? I mean, there's got to be something good you can say about them. Problem is, we get into this deceitfulness of our heart. Jeremiah 17, 9 said, the heart is desperately wicked. And we get really convoluted and it is so easy to excuse very poor behavior when it comes to the way we treat other people in our communications and justify it in our own mind. And I think you can totally justify it in your own mind. Now the question is, does God agree with you? And the wrong place to find out that he did not agree with you is when you stand before the judgment seat of Christ. That's a little bit late, right? So when in doubt, just zip it, don't say it. Look, if it's not an emergency, if somebody is not getting ready to get harmed, like harm themselves or harm someone else or, or cause some really serious property damage to something or someone, then you can zip it. Now, if it's still worth saying, then you can say it again five minutes later then. If it's really worth saying, it'll still be worth saying tomorrow. If it's not an emergency, you know, you don't have to do it. Jeremiah 17, 9, though, that heart is so desperately wicked, it is deceitful. And, and we'll go, yeah, but, but, but this, this is different. Right. I wonder how many people end up in eternal ruin because they bought that excuse. This is different on, you know, a whole different mess of things. So there's an old saying that say excuses sound bad to everyone except the person making them. Isn't that true? How often have you admired the excuse maker? How often have you just sat around, you know, going, man, I just love oh so-and-so. I don't know anybody that can make excuses better than he does or she does. It's just a wonderful, endearing, warm talent. It just, it just makes my heart feel good to hear all their excuses. Right. We don't do that kind of stuff because excuses sound horrible to everybody except the person that's making them. And now, you need to be really careful here. Thumper rule, of course, got a couple of reasons I want to drive it home. Number one, violates the golden rule, gets you in trouble with God, and that works out really ugly in the long term. But number two, it makes you look bad. People who go around moaning and complaining and bad-mouthing all of the time about somebody, whether, you know, it can be anything. It can be the weather. It can be politics, which is a favorite one, isn't it? It can be sports and coaches. It can be the way they're running things at work or the way the city government's working or the way they're doing things at church or the civic club or your community ball league. I mean, you want to whine. There's always something to whine about because nobody's perfect. Now, if you want to play that game, that's like play, taking candy from a baby. Since everyone is imperfect, that's a pretty easy game to play. And when you play it, you look really ugly. People probably aren't going to tell you that to your face. But when you walk away, they're going to be thinking, well, I'm glad he left. Got tired of hearing all that mess. So don't do it. Look, if you can't say something nice and that makes you look good, a little selfish maybe, but hey. 
say some nice things that make you look good and attractive to others, then just whoop, zip it, give it up. Number two, I know that if you'll talk bad about somebody to me, you'll talk bad about me to somebody else. And that means I'm going to keep my distance from you. I'm not going to expose myself and set myself up to be your target just because you want a target. I'm going to do my Christianity the best I can, but my Bible teaches evil companions corrupt good morals. I don't have to hang around and spend time with everybody. And especially with people who walk all over the golden rule, who demonstrate with their mouth that they have a deceitful heart, people who disregard God's word, I don't have to hang around with them. When you start gossiping to me, I'm going to find somebody else to hang around with. I'm not going to sit around and provide you information so that when you get to the next person, you can talk bad about me. And I suggest you follow a very similar practice. If people are talking bad about others to you, it's time to hang out with different people. A little bit of something to think about. Put your comments below. We'll get a friendly conversation started if you want. Don't gossip. <laughs> but we'll have a friendly conversation about the roll of the mouth. And as always, have a great day.